The journey begins in the vast desert, where the scorching sun casts its unyielding gaze on the parched land and the winds whisper stories of resilience and adaptation. In this seemingly inhospitable landscape, where life is on the edge of existence, an amazing story unfolds. A story of innovation, perseverance, and the boundless human spirit. Welcome to the world of desert aquaculture in China, a realm where the impossible becomes possible and the unimaginable becomes reality. Join us as we take a journey into the heart of the desert where dreams fly and miracles are born. But before we dive into the depths of this extraordinary story, we ask for your support. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel to join us in our quest for discovery. Your support fuels our passion for research and inspires us to push the boundaries of what is possible. 30 years ago, the deserts of China were barren wastelands, devoid of life and it seemed hope. However, in the arid sands, visionaries saw potential, the potential to transform desolation into abundance and hardship into opportunity. With unwavering determination, China set out to reclaim its deserts, transforming barren lands into fertile oases of life. Using revolutionary technology, they became pioneers in the field of desert terraforming, changing the landscape and breathing new life into the once barren land. One of the most astonishing transformations can be seen in the Xinjiang Autonomous Region, where the longest desert highway now runs through verdant forests, a testament to China's commitment to sustainable development and respect for the environment. But the real miracle lies beneath the surface, where desert aquaculture has taken root and blossomed in the most unlikely of places. Thanks to innovative methods and advanced technologies, China has created artificial seas in the desert where seafood grows in abundance. From freshwater fish to tiger shrimp, abalone and lobster, these desert aquaculture zones boast a diversity of marine life that rivals coastal areas. And the Xinhang Aquaculture Company's recent breakthrough, a pilot project to simulate seawater in desert fishing grounds, opens a new era of opportunity, offering sustainable food sources for local people and reducing dependence on overexploited marine resources. The story is set in the heart of rural China, where the lives of countless people have been changed by the humble black tiger shrimp. Each kilogram of this valuable seafood costs 200 yen and brings new prosperity to the local community. This success story serves as a shining example of China's innovative approach to rural economic development, a model that has been praised by the United Nations for its effectiveness in improving rural living standards. As the world's largest seafood producer, China has long recognized the importance of food security in an era characterized by geopolitical tensions, climate change, and global instability. China, which accounts for 18% of the world's seafood catch, is moving more than ever toward agricultural self-sufficiency. In regions like Xinjiang, where arid landscapes pose unique challenges to agricultural development, innovative solutions are key to unlocking the land's potential. Here, salt alkali tolerant rice, also known as seawater rice, has become a beacon of hope for farmers seeking to increase yields in the face of water shortages. But the path to sustainable agricultural development is not without challenges. Xinjiang's arid terrain poses serious water management challenges, threatening the viability of fish farms that rely on fresh water sources. Despite these obstacles, local authorities are committed to increasing seafood production setting an ambitious target of reaching 30 million tons by 2025. Against the backdrop of these agricultural innovations, the calm waters of Lake Bositong beckon fishermen to set out on their daily voyage. As the soft light of dawn illuminates the horizon, fishermen like Xu Qingwei set sail, guided by centuries-old traditions and a deep respect for the lake's bounty. Since 2018, the influx of water from the Kaidu River has revitalized Lake Bositon, ushering in a new era of abundance for the region. Overgrown reed beds lining the shores of the lake serve as a natural filtration system, purifying the water and supporting a thriving ecosystem teeming with life. From August to October, when the fishing season reaches its peak, the waters of Lake Bositong come alive 
supporting local livelihoods and stimulating economic growth in the region. Against this ancient landscape unfolds a modern miracle. A miracle that speaks to the resilience of the human spirit and the power of innovation to overcome even the most difficult challenges. Ferdinand de Lesseps, the famous French diplomat renowned for his key role in leading the construction of the Suez Canal, once hatched a visionary idea to transform central North Africa into a verdant oasis. Together with his respected colleagues, de Lesseps attempted to implement this ambitious plan, which promised to open new trade routes for French ships and increase the fertility of the arid region. The proposal, which was estimated to cost approximately 25 million francs, equal to 4.2 million US dollars at the time, captured the imagination of many. However, after several expeditions to the supposed site, it became obvious that in fact this territory is not below sea level, as was initially believed. Rising costs and logistical problems further made the project unfeasible, leading to its eventual abandonment. Despite the failure, de Lesseps's daring plan left an indelible mark on history. Inspired by this concept, famous writer Jules Verne included the canal idea in his 1905 novel Invasion of the Sea, in which an earthquake causes the formation of an inland sea in North Africa. Subsequent attempts to bring seawater into the Sahara Desert, such as the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission's Plowshare Project in Egypt, have encountered similar obstacles. The project, proposed as a solution to the flooding of the Katara Depression, involved detonating 213 nuclear bombs to create a canal. However, international agreements prohibiting nuclear explosions led to the project being closed in 1977. In a more modern context, innovative approaches to combating global warming have emerged, such as the proposal put forward by Silicon Valley company Y Combinator in 2018. Their ambitious plan called for flooding California's Algodones Desert to create water reservoirs for the growth of algae that acted as carbon sinks. However, the project, whose cost is estimated at 50 trillion US dollars, remained unrealized. Among these grandiose plans lies a sobering reality, the looming threat of desertification, which poses a serious challenge to our planet. Recognizing the interconnectedness of economy, society, and the environment, the international community has sounded the alarm about desertification as one of the most pressing environmental problems of our time. The United Nations predicts that by 2030, the fashion industry alone will consume 35% more land, primarily to grow raw materials. As we overcome the challenges posed by desertification and environmental degradation, the need for innovative solutions and collaborative efforts becomes increasingly urgent. Only through collective action and visionary leadership can we preserve the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems and ensure a sustainable future for generations to come.